Okay, so today I'm gonna teach you how you to solve the the Prusa most common issue that is the extruder extruder clicking sound when the the gear here is like the filament cannot go through to the to the hot end here, so it's like the filament is like go through and then uh, reverb back. So the first step is to check the the clock on the hot end as you can see you can see this is my nozzle there is no clock it's a very clean and this is a filament I have to I just print a finish on the bench here so in my case in my case this is clean and you have to check make sure there's a Make sure there is no cloth or something. Uh, there's a plastic stick and blocking this nozzle. Secondly, check your the gear here. Uh, make sure there's a uh, no filament creeps. It's like a creeps inside stuck on inside the the bolt tank gear. So how to open it is. Uh, now my printer is power, power on, but you can move your extruder. Just move it away to the center, and then and then open the screw here. This is the idle door screw. So open the screw here. Then you can see this have been opened up then because the screw is already, go, already removed and then you can push it up and then put it back so in my case here you when you uh, you will see some of the filament uh, like scratching piece it will start uh, all the all the bone tech gear here so in my case this is clean now and then you have to clean it as possible in my case this is a uh, very clean I use the, the brush this is a gold brush okay and then you can use this to clean it out here so in my case this is clean now and then make sure this uh, the bone tech gear is not stuck it's very smooth just like this okay so there's a three there's a three things you have to check the nozzle the nozzle from the bottom Tank gear with the filament scrap screen, scrap crease, scrap piece on the here, and then the bone tank gear from idle door. This is idle door. Make sure it's uh, very smooth, no stuck at all. And then is everything okay? Close it back. So push it back here. Use a uh, Allen key given by the Prusa. and then screw it back so make sure you pull it nicely okay I think I got it now yes and then screw it up become um, flush I mean totally flat uh, flush and flat in the, this uh, plastic piece don't ensure that this uh, screw doesn't come out a little bit and then you when you screw up check right here make sure the screw is 
it's come out a little bit for my case this is uh, a bit too low so i increase the screw tight tighten the screw a little bit okay now this is a uh, good number four is the the prusa method they call it as they call it as cool pull i will put the tutorial in the description below so make sure you check it out it's it's like a, the step is like the instruction is like uh, now i'm using the, the this this gray color is a pla uh, this gray color is a pla i brought it from pusa and then the cool block is you go to the you, you knob here you select preheat is like you have to preheat is like you have to it will heat up the the extruder and the back so the cool the cool pull is like you you have to go to the setting temperature and then you heat up the only nozzle so in PLA is uh, 250 degrees so you have to set up 250 degrees wait until the temperature reach to 250 and then you open the idle door unscrew here unscrew the here the idle screw and then open the door open the idle door open up and then use the plier use the plier hold it in the hold the filament the filament and then use some gentle press and then push it forward and then ensure there's a filament comes out like this uh, this this method is to ensure the nozzle here is not has a partial clot inside so you have to do it uh, no, normally uh, Prusa recommend to do three times you normally uh, Prusa suggests to give three times when it's hot you push it and, and then it, the, the filament will come out just like uh, it's the same method as like this is the same method is like this you go to setting uh, move axis then you go to the extruder yeah this one is a uh, move the motor here to uh, manually uh, manually uh, load the filament you will create the filament scrap piece inside the bond tank gear and then it will stuck inside so don't do that okay and then you go and then you use the these pliers, hold it the filament and push it out until the fill up the until the nozzle you can see there's a become this very a uh, very sorry my camera is not so focused until the filament become like this a very straight beautiful line comes out okay so you have to do it three times and then ensure everything okay and then you close uh, you off the temperature you off the temperature you can use this method and then push it out cool down and then wait until after you select cool down and wait until um, this is my room temperature is quite hot here 34 degrees and then wait until this um, this temperature the room temperature and then you and you use the plier again use the plier hold it and then put it out and your filament is put in and then take it out ensure that this filament doesn't have a, a black or oil color or some filament colors example I have example when you saw it uh, this is orange and you when you put it put out cool pull and you see the gray color means there's a partial color inside the this 
So we have to do the, this process cold pull method. Uh, load it in a hot temperature and then cold, waiting for cool down until zero degrees and then put up until your filament is clean like this. When you gray, it should be gray. It does, it's not has other color. When you orange, you have to should be orange. So now number five method is uh, there's a way to solve my this problem is the temperature calibration. So you go to knob, click and click, and then you go to calibration. So select temperature calibration. You go to way down here. That's it. You click it. Uh, make sure you put the PLA filament. Uh, make sure you clean up everything from the nozzle and the filament. It will show you the step how to do it. When you click calibrate, it will teach you how to. It will teach you how to do the process. Follow the instruction, and then it should be help to reduce the extruder clicking sound. That's all the method from here. I hope this five method can solve your issue. If this video helps helping you to solve the extruder clicking sound, please share this part. Uh, please share this video to your friends. And then if you like this video, click a like in the like button there. And then please subscribe my channel. And then if you have anything you want to say, anything you want to ask. Uh, just leave a comment in the session below and then that's about it I see you next video